Welcome back to a new episode of Let's Discuss with Phyllis. Today with me on set, I have Pastor I.K. and Nicole. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. Christmas is the event of the year in which the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ is commemorated and celebrated. Today, this celebration is demonstrated by the so called coming of Santa Claus, the exchange of gifts, and the decoration of Christmas tree. What is the true essence of Christmas? Looking at the way Christmas is presently portrayed by society, does it relate to its true essence? So, Pastor I.K., let me ask you a question, and Nicole, what is the true essence of Christmas? That's a lovely question, and it's very relevant in this time and age. The true essence of Christmas is, in one liner, Jesus came for us, and so we are the reason for the season. Jesus came for us, and we are the reason for the season. Yes. Because it doesn't seem like we are the, re the reason for the season. It doesn't even seem like Jesus is the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. Some people say... Jesus is the reason for the season. We are celebrating Jesus, but by the way uh, society is portraying Christmas to be right now, mm. it doesn't seem like it. Mm. And why is it so? I mean, the socialization of things, mm. and quite frankly, if if I would say, I think it's a uh, political correctness as well. Mm -hmm. So now people say Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas mm. because Merry Christmas, as it were, is seen as a Christian slogan to celebration mm -hmm. of Christmas. Mm -hmm. But then Happy Holidays is acceptable for all oh, men, mm -hmm. and so now they say Happy Holidays, but there is a more specific, you know, thing behind the holiday. You get what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like. Um, Instead of us being like hitting it directly on the head, we go about the topic of happy holidays. There are more mm -hmm. than one holiday. Mm -hmm. And in those holidays, they say the specific thing and mm -hmm. not happy holidays. Mm -hmm. But then for Christmas, then it becomes happy holiday and not Merry Christmas as it were. Wow. So, Nicole, let me ask you, what is that thing about the IK said that there is that thing in Christmas that makes people become very uneasy about? So what is that thing that makes people so uncomfortable? about Christmas. Okay. okay. Um, so before I answer that, just to kind of like piggyback off of what Pastor I.K. is saying about the essence of Christmas, I believe, you know, the essence of Christmas is to demonstrate, to show God's will and God's love for his children on earth. Um, because before Jesus, before Christmas, quote unquote, for the birth of Jesus, people didn't know God's will. He, they didn't know God's plan. They had only seen God as this God of wrath mm. and God of do and undo and do mm -hmm. and I do you, gives and takes. That's how they knew God. But Jesus marked, the birth of Jesus marked the beginning of a new dispensation of love mm. um, and a specific characterization of the, war, of the will of God, rather, mm -hmm. uh, for the people on earth. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to like, touch on that. Um, and you ask, like, what is that thing <laughs> that makes people not want to maybe call Christmas Christmas or say happy holidays instead. And to be honest, like, it's, the answer to that is just it's Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, like you mentioned, Pastor, we live in a very um, politically correct society. So everybody's trying to be inclusive and not offend and not hurt anyone. But at the end of the day, you can't negate the truth. The mm -hmm. truth will always be the truth, whether mm -hmm. you refuse to believe it or not. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So... Because I know that you, you you said something about the birth of Jesus Christ. Because I believe that Christmas is a celebration of the birth of the birth of Jesus Christ. But a lot of Christians may argue that the twenty fifth of December is not his actual birth. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor, does it matter that that day or whether whether it's it's, it's his actual birthday or not? Mm -hmm. Does it really matter, mm -hmm. or what does it add or we take away from the celebration? You know, I think that. A lot of times people get carried away by things that are not actually as relevant because let's say that it was in September why what difference would it really make mm. you see if we said it was September 13th what difference does it make in the celebration of mm. it what difference does it make in the culture there is mm -hmm. you see so Jesus Christ not being born specifically on the 25th of December you know I don't think it really changes much well it mm -hmm. shouldn't change much because just like sister Nicole said it change it shows like a a change as it were in dispensation of now the proof the love of God's will you know the love and God's will mm -hmm. rather 
Because, you know, when people come together to decide something and because it's been societally approved that this day, mm -hmm. we will use this specific day to celebrate Jesus Christ and his birth and his coming, mm -hmm. then let's use the day. Mm -hmm. It's like language. If we both agree that something means something, Mm -hmm. If we say that this means come, mm -hmm. then because we have agreed, mm -hmm. God as well endorses it. Mm -hmm. And we can then, therefore, mm -hmm. it has value to myself and yourself. Exactly. As Christians, if we say that the 25th of December, we're going to celebrate the birthday of Jesus Christ, even if it wasn't his birthday, that's the day we have selected mm. as a people, mm. as God created people, people who have decisions, who has a power to decide. And we say that this day we're going to come together and we're going to celebrate. Then we're going to come together and we're going to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't change the fact that he came to do what he did and he has done it. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ has done it, mm -hmm. you see. So what's relevant is what he did and mm. not specifically the day that he did it. Wow, this is very, this is very important. What is relevant is what he did. Because I think people are always, like you said, stuck on the fact that, oh, this is not in, and then yeah. the 25th of December, it was a pagan thing, mm -hmm. but it's not, it, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter Absolutely. what it was because we've, uh, we've, as a church or as the body of Christ, agreed that that day was the day that we're gonna, we gonna come together and celebrate Jesus, pretty much. Absolutely. So I'm gonna ask again, who is the reason for this season? Because some people believe that Jesus is the reason for this season because he's the one that came to the world. Mm -hmm. But some other people believe that we as Christians, so I'm asking you, Pastor, mm -hmm. and of course, Nicole, you can add to uh, the discussion. Who is the reason for the season? The reason for the season, I feel like for so long, especially since I was a young girl, it's not that long ago, <laughs> but um, we've always said, you know, Jesus is the reason for the season. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, it's an amazing um, phrase, right? It makes you feel all warm inside that you're celebrating this man that came to die for you. Glory to God, you know, but it's important now to understand and to recognize, you know, the significance of what Jesus Christ did and the significance of the birth of Jesus. Everybody on earth is born for maybe some kind of purpose or another, but most of us are living and we're, you know, you, I don't want to say serve yourself, mm -hmm. but you live, maybe whether you go to school or you get married or, you know, it's, and someone contributing to you. Mm -hmm. The significance in, of Jesus Christ, the man, is the fact that he was the only person that mm. was born for others. Mm. There was absolutely no, mm. like he didn't have any personal gain or he was born solely. Mm. His sole purpose was to come and to die for other people. Wow. So what does that tell you about the people that he died for? Mm. Earlier I mentioned um, how Christmas is like sim um, symbolic and um, kind of like shows us the love of God. And I say that because if Jesus Christ was born for the reason, I said like the only reason he was born was to die for us, it means that there, there's value, mm. right? That we have value. We have value. And you know something is valuable when, I mean, based on the price that was paid for it. Wow. Absolutely. So, it shows, I mean, how, like, the magnitude of God's love mm. for us because of that value. Love is value. Mm. When you value something, you love it. When you love mm -hmm. something, you value it, right? Um, and so when you now look at the end of the equation, you see that it leads up to us. Mm. Um, we are the reason for the season. Mm. Why? Because God sent his only begotten son to die for me, mm. to die for you. Mm. That's value. That's love. Mm. That means the reason he came, the mm. reason we're celebrating him coming at all, mm -hmm. is because of, of me, mm. of us. Glory to God. And so we are the reason for the season, mm -hmm. you know. And I, do, I really, mm. you know, don't like that a lot of Christians, when they, they even hear that or say that, they yeah. find it almost blasphemous. Like, yeah. how can you say you are the reason? Sister, brother. If you think about the fact that if you were the only one here on earth, Jesus Christ would have still come to die for you. Mm. But if there was no one on earth, <laughs> he would have not died. But if it was just you, as one man, he would have come. It means you are the reason for the season. Well, thank you, Sister Nicole, for, for what you said. You see, this is, this is so significant because when you, you classify this soul action and how it changed the, 
literally the world as it is and we actually get to the root of reason when we think about reason specifically if i was to ask you to go to another room to collect to get a microphone mm. for me mm -hmm. and you get there and someone asks you why are you here mm. you would say i am here to, to get, get the a microphone mm -hmm. so what is the reason you came the, the microphone. microphone the same way if we were to see Jesus Christ or Jesus alive in us today, mm -hmm. why did you come? Mm -hmm. You came for us. Mm -hmm. So who is the reason that you came? We are the reason that you came. So if Christmas signifies his birth and his coming and we ask, why did you come? You came for us. Mm. We are therefore the mm -hmm. reason for the season. Mm -hmm. It's simple, it's simple, it's simple when followed that way. Mm -hmm. And I think that, like Sister Nicole correctly said, the weight of it is simply because it, it matters the mind of the individual. Some things are just too heavy for a person to accept. Mm. Because if you accept this reality, that puts a heavy weight of responsibility on you. Mm. That if I'm the reason that Jesus Christ came, then that means I have a role to play. Mm -hmm. That means that my actions, my presence is significant. Mm -hmm. And when a person arises, becomes aware of that significance, then they have a responsibility as well mm -hmm. to the people because, mm -hmm. excuse me, mm -hmm. because the reason that he came, he then passed the baton to us and said, continue mm -hmm. from where I left off. Mm -hmm. He says, as my father sent me, so send I you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, his father sent him wife for us. Now he has sent us for the world as well. Mm -hmm. So we are to carry on that mission mm -hmm. of winning souls, mm. changing people, mm -hmm. the same way that the reason why he came. So that's the, signific the significance of Christmas. Absolutely. For us to carry on the work. Mm. As Christmas. So what, what should it mean? Mm. I know you kind of explained that, but I want to, our viewers to understand really mm. our responsibility mm. as Christians. Because you, you, you are about to say more, uh, so I just want you to, to spell it out, the responsibility. Because when, when it comes to Christmas, it's not just mm. about the decoration. Yeah. It's not just about uh, the mm. exchange of gifts mm. or, uh, you know, all the things that we do. This is mm. not the reason why mm. we are doing Christmas mm. or we are mm. celebrating Christmas. Mm. Why are we celebrating Christmas, Pastor? It's beautiful. You know, when you were saying that, um, what, what, what's, what came to my spirit was, you know, like, the fact, you know, like decoration of trees, giving mm. of gifts. The, the, the truth is that Jesus Christ did all of that. Mm -hmm. He beautified us on the inside. Oh, hallelujah. You see, like, fit, like spiritually, we are those Christmas trees. He gave us gifts, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gift of righteousness. These are things that he actually did. So mm. when you really think about it in that sense, mm -hmm. then the beautification of things, that is a physical aspect of a spiritual reality. Hallelujah. You get what I'm saying? Hallelujah. So why Jesus Christ came to us, the Bible says that, you know, um, he, he, he gave us this mandate to, to go out into the world, mm -hmm. to preach the gospel, to make disciples of all, of all nations. Mm -hmm. And so that was what he came to do because mm -hmm. he did that. He preached himself. He made disciples of the nations. He now said that we as well should preach the gospel, make disciples of the nations, heal the sick, raise the dead, drink poisonous things, and they will not affect us, speak mm -hmm. in tongues. These are mm -hmm. the things that he told us to do. Mm -hmm. And we carry them out mm -hmm. just as Jesus Christ did. Mm -hmm. Any word, Nicole? God. I mean, thank you so much, Pastor. That's, that's exactly it. If you ask, like, why then do we celebrate Christmas? We're celebrating, hmm. I mean, the love of the Father. Absolutely. We're celebrating. Um, and I want to touch on this one more time, like the will of God and hmm. why that's so significant within this period is, I mean, we know that Jesus Christ came. We know that he died. You know, but so many Christians do not know actually why he died hmm. and why he came. Mm -hmm. And when you ask some people, they say, oh, he died to take away our sins, or he died to... And glory to God, you know, that he did do. But what was the main purpose? I mean, this is a... You know, Pastor, I don't want to go into it all the way from, like, the beginning of creation mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. God, his intention, his will, this... Whew! Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to take it in because... because the will of God, that very desire. When I, you know, I look at some of the people, my members and my friends, and I tell them, I am God's dream come true. Mm. It sounds like such a heavy statement, but this is since the beginning of creation. The Bible says that this is, yes. the, this is the secret that has been hidden for ages. Just, mm. just, I mean, that is why he came to die, to bring us into fellowship. Mm. And fellowship doesn't just mean like, oh, he came, you know, he, he has just... We can now read the Bible or we're just chilling with Jesus. No, I mean, we, ha, ah, Christ in us, 
and him. I mean, and us and him. No Glory to God. Like, that is Christianity. That mm -hmm. is Christmas, right? Mm -hmm. And that so we're Christmas. celebrating this thing, not just to celebrate. Yeah. You know, gifts are nice. and this Because honestly, we're in this life. They said, he gives to give us life and have it in abundance to enjoy. But when you, you know, enter this period, when you see whatever we've chosen to use, to, you know, to celebrate, whether it's, you know, the tree or whether it's you're actually in church, whether it's you, whatever the case may be, let it remind you of the true meaning, the true the significance, true which is oneness, Hallelujah. which is fellowship. Mm -hmm. And the day, promise, like the day a Christian, anyone as a Christian, comes to the full realization of that, of the, their oneness with the Father, of their open invitation to dine and be one with God, your life changes forever. Oh, yeah. Like, you cannot be the same. Mm -hmm. And so Christmas, man, if we really knew, like, even the church, if we knew the depth of this thing, I feel like I could go on. I'm not trying to make, you know, make this too long, but the words even don't even really come out mm. because it's so, it, it's heavy. Yeah. It's heavy. But yeah. Christmas, whew. So, Pastor Ake, okay, as a closing statement, what would you tell the viewers about Christmas? Um, what I would say after such an informative talk show, or rather a discussion, is don't get carried away by the semantics and the um, socioeconomic reasons, as it were, for Christmas. If you are a Christian, know this. You are the reason for the season. Know that God has a will and intention for you. Know that it is your responsibility to carry that vision out know this jesus christ wants more than anything fellowship with you as a person not simply on sundays but every single day then you will actually live like it's christmas every single day amen god bless you wow 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 this was an amazing discussion pastor Ike nicole i am blessed to have you guys with me today on set thank you thank you for the mm -hmm. discussion and this is all that we have time for today. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe to our channel. And I will see you guys in a new episode of Let's Discuss with Phyllis next week. And don't ever forget, we are the reason for the season. Bye. Bye, guys.